Bloom's taxonomy. First, we wanna start out talking a little bit about the cognitive domain. When we think about the different levels of Bloom's taxonomy and essentially how we learn over time and scaffold how we teach our students and best practices that we should adopt as nursing educators, we wanna make sure that we understand the definition of the cognitive domain. Now, we also know that there are components related to the affective domain that are important when we think about the domains of learning, but for purposes of our time together, for this snapshot, we're only gonna focus on the cognitive domain. I wanna point out resources like I always do that will help support you on your learning journey to prepare for the certification exam. First, this will be a concept that you will see throughout several competencies when you take a look at the detailed test blueprint for both the CNE mm -hmm. as well as the CNE CL. Facilitate learning, which is covered under competency one and two for CNE, and then competency one for the CN, and one and two as well for the CNE CL. Billings and Halstead, which is a primary resource for both of the certification exams, you are going to start on page 188, where it describes the different domains of learning. Again, cognitive domain, as well as affective domain and psychomotor domain, okay? So there are three different domains of learning. However, the cognitive domain is the one that includes Bloom's taxonomy of learning. It is a staged or leveled process, and it's really important that you understand three primary concepts as it relates to Bloom's taxonomy. First will be the definition. What are the different definitions for each level of Bloom's taxonomy? Well, we're going to highlight that in a couple of slides, so I'll save more details for later. Second, the verbs associated with each level of Bloom's taxonomy. You will see in figure 10.1 in Billings and Halstead, they scaffold or build starting from remembering, which is the foundation, which is where our students start, all the way up to understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Again, I have a, a great image to share with you that will hopefully help you connect the dots in your learning journey. And assignment, we wanna ensure that our students' learning is correlated with each level of Bloom's taxonomy, but also we're using the appropriate verbs and the learning outcomes and the assignments are mapped or correlate to each level. So this is an image that I wanted to share from Vanderbilt University Center for Teaching that pr provides a really good depiction of each level as well as associated verbs. Now I wanna go ahead and point out that there's no way for you to memorize every single verb on every single level of Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that out there right now. However, there are some key verbs that you need to remember, memorize, and most importantly, to have a full understanding of exactly what level of Bloom's taxonomy addresses the different levels of learning. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're starting at the bottom with remember. The definition is to recall facts and basic concepts. There are some specific verbs which are defined, duplicate, list, memorize, repeat, and state that are listed here. Additional ones on page 189 in Billings and Halstead Teaching and Nursing, the sixth edition, include define, list, label, select, locate, and match. Okay, so again, most important that you understand the definition of remember, which is to recall those facts and basic concepts. Common assignments would be blood pressures and, and vital signs, understanding the students specifically remembering what the normal parameters are for vital signs. That is just the basic Bloom's taxonomy level of remembering, okay? So it's the, the memorization of key components such as vital signs that students would need to remember. All right, and then when we think about the specific level, um, or the specific learning outcome associated with remembering. One example is listed here to identify leadership and management theories applicable in acute care setting. So again, going back to what we mentioned earlier, understanding three components as it relates to Bloom's taxonomy levels, which would be, again, just to recap, definitions, the verbs, and assignments associated with each level. All right, so let's take a look again at the Bloom's taxonomy. 
pyramid. The next level up is to understand, which is defined as explain ideas or concepts. Verbs associated with the level understanding include classify, describe, discuss, explain, identify, locate, recognize, report, select, and translate. A few additional ones that are listed in um, Billings and Halstead, page 189. They include explain, describe, interpret, summarize, and predict. Okay, so you see some redundancy with what Vanderbilt has described here as well as what is in Billings and Halstead. Now, when we think about understand, there is um, an, a learning outcome example that's also listed in Billings and Halstead, which is describe conflict resolution strategies to promote teamwork in an acute care setting. Next level is apply using information in new situations. Okay, so examples of verbs, execute, implement, solve, use, demonstrate, interpret, operate, schedule, and sketch may also include calculate or change or relate. Okay, so again, those are additional verbs that are listed on page 189 in teaching and nursing. The next level is to analyze, which means to draw connections or conclusions among ideas, to differentiate, organize, relate, compare and contrast, distinguish, examine, experiment, question and test. Compare, classify, and differentiate are those that are listed in your book. So I think uh, this model covers a lot of good verbs associated with analyze. And when we look at an example of a learning outcome, compare the role of a nurse manager in an acute care setting with the role of a nurse manager in a long-term care facility. Okay, so that's a good example of how we would add as a learning outcome, the level of analyzing for the student. And you could also, as, as you can tell by the specific outcome, you can easily outline an assignment for a student related to this type of learning outcome. The next level is to evaluate, and that is defined as justification of a stand or a decision. Appraise, argue, defend, judge, select, support, value, critique, and weigh. Also may see reframe, support or assess, okay? So assess is at the letter level of evaluating. Create is the highest level of the cognitive domain under Bloom's taxonomy, defined as producing new or original work. Concept mapping is one good example. Verbs, design, assemble, construct, conjecture, develop, formulate, author, investigate. You may also see compose um, or create, formulate and develop. And those are already listed here. So hopefully this was helpful. I know that Bloom's taxonomy is on there. All right, so back to content. Wanna make sure that you all have the most recent resources to help you on your journey. Remember that there are new publications for teaching and nursing with the sixth edition that just came out in 2020. Dr. Caputi has released her second edition of the Certified Nurse Educator Review Book and the CNE 2021 Candidate Handbook, as well as the CNE CL 2021 Candidate Handbook has been released. So you want to make sure you have the most current resources. All right. And then for the CNE CL, I also want to highlight some recommended resources. First is the Whitman Price Wilson and Giddings Certified Academic Clinical Nurse Educator Review Manual. And second resource I want to make sure you have is the Academic Clinical Nurse Educator Review Book by Teresa Schellenbarger. The Clinical Nurse Educator Competency Review Book by Teresa Schellenbarger is also one that I highly recommend. The reason why I recommend both of the resources that you see listed here, the review book um, here, as well as the Educator Competency Book is it's, it's published by NL Land. So that's a clear indicator that this is a resource that you want in front of you on your bookshelf while you're on your journey, okay? And then again, Billings and Halstead is a primary resource that I recommend for um, all of those educators on the journey. I'm excited to announce that Dr. Sellers Educate is in the process of final approval for contact hours. We have heard you and we appreciate your feedback regarding the recommendation to provide contact hours. 
we will be awarding four contact hours, hoping to launch that officially in July. But if you head over to Nursing Education um, web portal on Eventbrite, you will see that we have posted the August date, um, but we may, like I said, be able to, to provide an even sooner event in July. So check out our portal to, to stay updated for those offerings. All right, well, that concludes our time together. Again, I am Dr. Sellers Educate. I appreciate you being here. Feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the classroom. Have a good one.